Well, two separate teams of researchers have found yet another coronavirus variant, this one in New York City. The new variant may be able to evade present vaccines, but CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us vaccine companies are on the case. All viruses mutate and evolve. That's what they do. And as we genetically sequence more and more virus samples, we will find more and more mutations, most of which are either harmless or deadly to the virus itself. But some mutations make a virus more infectious or deadlier. That's what's concerning about these new corona variants. A number of COVID variants have already been identified, notably in the UK, South Africa, and Brazil, with others that are still being investigated in California and now New York. The New York variant is dubbed B1526 and has shown a steady and alarming increase in detection over the past few weeks in the city and elsewhere in the Northeast, suggesting that this new mutation may in fact be more infectious. It also seems to strike slightly older patients and cause more hospitalization. Some of the mutations appear to be less susceptible to present vaccines and to the monoclonal antibody drugs that are effective in early COVID. Still, some experts believe that people who have recovered from COVID or have been vaccinated should still be able to fight off this coronavirus. You may get sick, but not seriously ill. But it's clear that as the virus continues to evolve, vaccines will have to be tweaked. That is happening even now, as Moderna has already manufactured a vaccine for testing against the new variants. Pfizer has said it is also adapting their vaccine. These new vaccines might be used as boosters or combined with present versions of the shots to form what's called a multivalent vaccine that covers several strains with one shot, similar to the flu vaccine. All that, though, will depend on new clinical trials. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.